Hi everybody, I'm Paxash, and welcome back to Paxash Plays Necro Jishi. I've gotten some tea in between episodes, so hopefully my throat won't give out on me, as it tends to do whenever I record. <laughs> so anyway, uh, back to the sadness, according to the music. Even though he said that I'd see him tomorrow, it's hard to see him leave like this. I've gotten used to him in my life the past month, and now it feels like it's all gone. I didn't know that Kiddin was so reasonable. He didn't even throw a tantrum before leaving. Shuchi, not happy. He wasn't happy. I know Senpai didn't really want to leave, but we both saw this coming, didn't we? You couldn't tell that he was unhappy. <laughs> you are not very good at reading people. <laughs> or cats, in this case, cat people, whatever. Senpai, how did things end up like this? I mean, how did things end up like this? His parents hate gay people, apparently. That's what it sounded like. Should I talk to them about him? I don't know. Why make me make this choice? I don't feel like it's not their business. I'm just gonna let it go. Think about it. This is Senpai's problem. What can anyone else do to help him now? I'm used to having Senpai here. Now it's like he wasn't even here to begin with. For some reason it hurts in the pit of my stomach. No. What if one day my family just up and decides to force me to go back home? Then I'd have to give up everything, no matter what. Why... why is this all happening to me? I lie down in my bed, burying myself under my blankets as far as I can. For now, just trying to forget everything. You read your fucking book, Tiger. <laughs> Doesn't even care. Back to school, I guess. The holidays are over and midterm exams are about to start. In the morning, I waited around for a bit, just on the off chance that Senpai would be here to walk me to school. But he didn't. His dorm is in the opposite direction from campus, after all. It'd be a pain to come over here just for me. In fact, I didn't run into Senpai all day. I mean, most of my classes have exams today. It's not like Senpai could sit in on them like he usually does, and I don't see him during lunch either. Finally, I end up running into him at the cafeteria that evening. Meow, what a long day. Ugh, why did I try to do that? It hurt my, it hurt my throat. And it sounded like shit, so... How'd your exams go? Oh, they were fine, but what about you, Senpai? You had exams, right? Nah, none today. I didn't really take on many subjects this semester, so exams are pretty chill. Which is why he was able to come to my classes every day. I got in the way of his studies, didn't I? But it's too late to think about that now. You know, where were you all day? I didn't see you at all. Did they all miss me? I've been waiting here for you, after all. You were waiting for me here, Senpai? Well, you pretty much only eat in the cafeteria. It's not hard to guess that you'd come here. Hey, it's cheap, okay? <laughs> I I had a friend in undergrad that did that, and he he might be watching this, so I I promise I'm not making fun of you. <laughs> but he would uh, he didn't have a meal plan, but he would still eat in the cafeteria because it was a buffet, and it was it just ended up being cheaper for him to eat all their shitty buffet food than go out and eat. Anyway. There's heaps of cheap restaurants around campus, you know? You're just being too lazy to go out and try anything new. It's my first year here, you can't expect me to know every place around. Besides, the food here's good enough. Still, you're always eating alone, Liao. How lonely of you. I'm not eating alone. For the past month I've been eating with you and people can't really hear us talk about that. If I'm gone, who will you eat with then? Okay. It's ominous. Hmm? Senpai. What's wrong? Why so serious? You just said, if I'm gone, shouldn't you be saying, if you go to Meowly with me? Well, yeah, if Liao comes to Meowly with me, we'll be eating together for sure. But what if you don't? You don't have any other friends to have dinner with, right? I mean, you've got Kulao and the, other ma and the old man, but they're not real people. If you don't have any normal friends, people will just start seeing you as some loner weirdo. Senpai... Isn't Meowly a matter of life or death for you? To me, it just sounds like you've given up, that you're already planning to leave and you're trying to make peace with that. No, I just think I've been trying too hard to chase you, Liao. And even then, I still can't convince you. So I guess I should give you some room. Maybe keeping some distance is better? 
Yeah, it's a life or death matter, but even knowing that, you're still not going to go with me, are you? It's because I'd have to leave school. You might have to leave school, but I'll go back to being a Yaogawai roaming the streets, just to disappear one day like I never existed. Why are you making this so heavy now, god? It's unfair to threaten Liao like that. The dissipation of your Fudegong's influence won't cause you to vanish. You'll just become a Yaogawai. Nothing would impede you from finding another Fudegong. As long as you remain a good Yaogawai, no one would harm you. you. Make it sound so easy. Just gonna bounce here for a second. I've served my Fudegong for a long time, and I'm not about to give up on them and watch as they lose their power. With power without, they're a god of soil. One day when someone brings an offering, they'll be revived. But it doesn't feel right letting them be forgotten like this. There are many people in this world in need. If you care, if you care so much, why not help them all? I want to help someone, that's why I came to Liao. I know it's hard for him. He'd have to leave school behind for over a year. On top of that, he has his family to deal with. I know firsthand how difficult that is. I know leaving school isn't really the problem. It's getting Liao's family to accept what he's doing, isn't it? Sure, I have memories of Yan Shu Chi's relationship with his family, but going to his home and experiencing it myself, I feel terrible for asking Liao to go through that. There's no way Liao's family would accept what I'm asking of him. If he went through with it and ran with away with me to Miaoli for over a year, could he really go home again? So maybe it's okay for me to just give it up, for me to become a Yaogawai again. Sure, that's the end of my temple, but it's not like anyone would be dead. You're really giving up? I'm not one to give up. Will you come with me to Miaoli? Mi oh, yeah, I read it right the first time. <laughs> the sentence just isn't right. Will you come with me to Miaoli, Liao? It doesn't really matter if I give up or not. It's still your decision. I'm thinking about keeping some distance anyhow. Liao can just be friends with me. If he has the chance to help me, that's all the better. If not, it won't hurt as much when we have to say goodbye. Oh, this is so sad. Senpai, it's a bit late to be saying that. What? You already in love with me or something? Not at all. Senpai, don't kill the mood. But I really don't want you to, to burden you with all this. We're still friends no matter what. I'll be sure to come by and talk with you. Either way, it's exam week and we're both busy, right? Yeah. So we gotta knuckle down and focus on exams. This stuff can wait till later. <laughs> it doesn't sound like it can wait till later. Jesus, what the fuck? <laughs> that might have been my favorite uh, little motion effect they had. Get some tea while I come down from that. I bet some of that noise just got picked up on the mic and it's gonna sound gross. Oh well. Anyway, <laughs> that was really funny. <laughs> Caught me off guard too. We've all got Healy's slash hoverboards. Maybe one has Healy's, one has hoverboards. I don't know. But for now, let's forget about this downer of a conversation. It's time to get some grub. Kulao, let's go. Wait, I gotta put the wheels on my shoes out. Senpai drags Leopard by the collar to, drink, to the drink bar. Any way you slice it, there isn't any food there. At first watching Senpai run around like, like usual makes me smile. But afterwards I just feel worse than before. Like something was empty. No. Oh. Tiger goes with me to help buy dinner, trying to comfort me in the process. Soon enough, Senpai returns with Leopard and we all sit down together. I'm too tired to think about what I'm eating. He's beaming, obviously trying to keep everybody in good spirits. Even Tiger follows his lead and goes along with his shenanigans, but... I don't know why, but all I can think about is Senpai leaving. I've always thought about him leaving, but now that he is, I'm just sad about it. Can I have music back now? This is more depressing without music. Oh, thank god. <laughs> okay. Today's the day of my mathematics exam. I worked really hard to cover everything during the break. Even then, I'm still not confident about this exam. I just suck at maths and don't- and, uh, and I don't know if studying helped me remember anything at all. Especially considering everything else I've had to deal with. I was so scared I left it to last in my revision. My eyes are drawn to Leopard, who's scanning around the gloomy exam hall. I guess he's never seen so many people doing exams in the same room. <laughs> this is gonna twist back and forth, kind of, in time with the music, but not really. <laughs> I need to focus on my test and stop paying attention to him. But I guess he could... 
I check Tiger. He's reading on an empty chair in the back row, paying little attention to me. I guess this would be as good of an opportunity as any. Aw, oh, don't cheat, Liao. I really don't want to fail. All I need is a pass. If I ask Leopard to help... Aw, oh, Liao, don't do that to Leopard. Don't use him like that. I can't. Leopard has no idea cheating is bad. I can't fool him. What do you mean he doesn't know cheating is bad? You had a whole conversation with him last time this happened. If I fail, I fail. Passing one subject isn't worth doing that. It sucks, but I have to continue on. I need to have the conviction to do this test. I can do it. The bell rings for the end of the exam as I more or less finish off the last section of the paper. I had to skip a bunch, but I'm confident in at least half of them. I should pass. The rest now is in the hands of fate. I pray to Emperor Wen Wenchang? I don't know. Before packing up my stationery and leaving. Alright, let's uh, drop some learning on everybody. Well, not everybody, just people who don't know this like me. Also, Wen Cheng Di Jun? Emperor Wen Cheng, also known as Wen Cheng Wang, literally King Wen Cheng, is a, ta ugh, is a Taoist deity. I do know that that's not a T. <laughs> Worshipped as the god of culture and literature. Oh, that's my kind of god. <laughs> he has historically been called upon by scholars and writers who need inspiration or students who need help right before an exam. Traditionally speaking, Emperor Wen Cheng doesn't bless you for achieving literary success, but for attaining a high exam ranking. Therefore, you may still ask help from this god of literature for mastering a math exam. That's a, that's a pretty cool deity. <laughs> Alright, well, that's a scene end there, so I guess uh, we'll come back to the cafeteria on the next one. So, that'll be the end of this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.